again. Uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, go through a quick presentation of my uh, uh, RSA program that I worked or will work on for my cryptography class at BU. Uh, so I'm using uh, C++ in uh, CodeLux. I like CodeLux. It was a multiplied format for me using uh, uh, like the Linux machine and the Windows machine. So yeah, and this I'm also using a special library. It's the GNT library. It's a new multi-position library allows you to work with uh, numbers that are way larger than an uh, unsigned long int. Uh, basically it's as big as RAM can allow. Um, it's very useful. Let's do an example. Uh, so we had to uh, build uh, a scenario for RSA and uh, Diffie-Hellman-Key exchange but also break them. Uh, for RSA specifically I'm using uh, a list of primes and uh, that I generated and um, if that fails um, I'm using the fuller draw method so let's do uh, an example let's do the uh, scenario for RSA uh, here I'm prompting people to put their names because we had a class assignment where three students a group of three students would change roles and play Alice Bob and um, uh, me Alec looks like it and that'll be me so in order to uh, uh, exchange uh, messages using RSA, we first need to build a private key, and that comes from uh, the first step is finding two primes that we multiply together. Uh, and since 1236 was not prime, my program is called prime prime. Actually, in practice, um, P and Q are not only prime, but they should be strong prime, uh, which means that uh, any number is strong prime. Any number P is strong prime, and if we have um, P minus 1 results in a, a large factor, which and so does P plus 1, and P minus 1 equals 1. So even if, uh, even even if you get one digit, one unit after or under that number, you still need to do a lot of calculations to uh, factor. message will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is the scenario, so um, Bob wants to send a message to Ali and be a little crack, okay, uh, so there's a private and public key, the public key that's being shown um, publicly, and Ali posts that, private key is kept secret, 1, 2, 3, 4 needs to be uh, encrypted to be sent to Ali, it's not encrypted this, Ali has no problem decrypting, but at the same time, I end up capturing the message and my public key, and I'm able to uh, factor the secrets M into P and Q. And that, uh, the entire RSA lies in the fact that this is a very um, uh, resource-intensive calculation when P uh, numbers are very large. Um, and to show uh, the key multi-precision library, um, so let's look at fast exponentiation. So this allows you to um, do exponentiation within a modulo, within a modular C. So what would d3x go into a z? Uh, so let's say d is a super large number, and x, which is the exponent, this is, this is ginormous. And the z we will, uh, it'll be a number that's going to be unknown, uh, smaller than this. And here we go, that's the uh, solution. did I do here? Um, and oh yeah, um, so I actually was able to do RSA with the uh, 2036 D. It's just an example so that was actually hard-coded. Uh, my friend sent me his public key uh, with uh, which he used the real RSA um, computation algorithm uh, and he did an he used the expression library and I put that in the program and I'm still able to obtain an encrypt uh, an encrypt message which is one two threes, three threes, and four threes. And it gets decrypted. Yay, GNT. And that's about it for now. Um, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thanks a lot.